Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Clyde Holland. So I've prepared a letter which you should, you should be given a copy of. I gave it to the clerk. <clears throat> uh, we fully support rental housing. We also support affordable housing. In each of the projects which we've developed here in Portland, the three that are going, we have 20% set aside for affordable housing. Notwithstanding that, looking at the fair uh, criteria, we have some grave concerns. First, HUD, Fannie Mae, and Freddie Mac all require that we screen three times the rent in order to be in compliance with their financing. To mandate a criteria that is lower than that will put landlords in default on their mortgages. In order to attract institutional equity to be able to build new projects in Portland and thereby provide uh, additional housing, we're required to screen three times income in order to access institutional equity. In order to look at the compliance aspects of the very confusing pages that have gone here, our estimate is it will take two, we'll take one person per hundred units to be able to review and deal with the compliance and the challenges. That will raise rents over time on Portlanders approximately $65 per unit per month. The cost of the claims that the first testimony had is also significant. When trying to address this individual assessment, the risk of claim that a landlord didn't handle things appropriately is extreme. That risk is estimated at $25 per unit per month. So in order to just comply with the regulations, we're looking at approximately $100 per unit per month, which over the 125,000 renters in Portland will cost about $125 million a year to provide from a compliance standpoint. Lowering the credit, if that is required, will substantially increase the credit losses for, rent, for tenants. That increase in losses will have to be passed on in order to qualify for new rental units. Several aspects from a separate standpoint. The policy layering effects of inclusionary zoning, of the tenant relocation, and registration, and now these, have substantially lowered the ability for us to access uh, debt and equity. It has cost the city of Portland about $5 billion of uh, investment in housing. We're missing about 12,000 units. We only have nine to 15 months worth of work left of pre-IZ housing, and the significant drop-off, there's no uh, anticipation of um, coming. I've included a letter and an article on Japan, which has had no rent increases since 2000, and um, the policies there from that standpoint, I'd ask to be done. In total, we ask that you submit this for an economic analysis so that you can look at real impacts on Portlanders because we're concerned that the impacts are going to substantially hurt, not help the Thank policies. You. Excuse Thank me, you. before you leave. Uh, Thank you, Mayor. Um, what is your definition of affordable housing? Can you tell me what income somebody would need in order to afford the affordable housing units that you referred to? Yes, ma'am. Um, we have set aside 20% of our projects at 80% area median income. So area median income is 72.5, so that would be right around 55 to 57 that they would need in order to be able to afford to live there? Ma'am, I don't have the specifics. What we have is there are different projects in different areas, and so they vary, but that's the calculation, and I trust your, your judgment. I'm not that, that quick at math, but I, I was trying to do it on the fly. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, sir.